Hello everyone, welcome to TIC. This is Kushal and today we will be looking at this very famous problem closest pair of points using divide and conquer. So let's understand the question a little bit. So you will be given n number of points on a 2D plane. Now your job is to find the two points which are at the closest distance of each other. That means the distance between those two points will be lowest. So the first thought that should come to your mind is to find distance from each point to every other point. The two points which gives the lowest of distance will be the output, right? So what would be the time complexity for this approach? As we are trying to find the distance from each point to every other point, it will be n square. That means it will be too much of computation. Let's see how we try to reduce it to n log n. So in the beginning, we are going to divide all our points with respect to x axis in such a way that on both of the sides, we have n by 2 number of points. So we are equally dividing the points into half. Now we have three options here. One, both of the points are on the left side. Two, both of the points are on the right side. And three, each of the side will contain a single single point of the pair. Okay, let's deal with the case one and case two for now. And after that, we will be dealing with the third case. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, just as we divided all the points into half in the beginning, what we're gonna do is we're going to divide each side into half recursively till we have only two points remaining on each side. So once we have only two points remaining, we can get the distance in O of one, right? Because they're just two points. Okay, so from each recursive call, we are going to return the minimum distance. And that is how we can get the minimum distance from left side and the right side. Okay, now we come to case three. Assume that we got the minimum distance D from case 1 and 2. Now, if the closest pair of points lies within the third case, those two points has to lie within this range, D on the left side and D on the right side. The pair of point has to lie within D plus D range and it will not be outside. The reason is very simple. Suppose if I take a point outside this range, this. If I take distance from this point to any other point, the distance will be either D or greater than D. So we are going to restrict this range for the third case. So once we are sure that our closest pair of points is going to lie within this range, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the points within this range and sort them with respect to their Y coordinate. So these are our sorted points. Now I'm not going to go through the proof of this, but using geometry, we can prove that if I want to find the minimum distance from point P1, the point has to be in the next seven points from point P1. That means from each and every point, the next seven points needs to be considered for finding the minimum distance. So if any one of you wants to go through the proof of this, I'm going to attach a link in the description. So if the distance comes out to be less than D, we'll be returning that. Otherwise, we'll be returning D itself. To summarize things, in the beginning, uh, we recursively divided our all the points and computed the minimum distance from left and right side. Time complexity for that will be n log n because of the recursion. Now, uh, we restricted all the points in this range, sorted it and computed the minimum distance. If we consider the minimum distance part O of n, the major time complexity will be of sorting, right? So again, the time complexity here in the third case will be n log n. So in the end, the total time complexity will be n log n itself. Now let's code this approach and understand the algorithm again. Okay, so this is how our base function is going to look like. Uh, we'll be given uh, an array of x coordinate and y coordinate and also a count of points. Obviously, we cannot deal with our points like that, right? So let's quickly define a class of point. Uh, We'll be doing that here, class point. It will have two members, integer x and integer y. Now uh, the constructor, two parameters, integer x, integer y. This dot x is equal to x, this dot y is equal to y. So that was our point class. Uh, now that we have already defined our point class, let's quickly uh, define a method to find distance between two points. Okay, so we'll be doing that here. Public uh, static double 
distance will be passing two points point p1 and point p2 okay uh, so we'll be returning math dot sqrt the basic euclidean formula distance uh, euclidean uh, distance formula p1 dot x minus p2 dot x we're gonna multiply it by itself we could have also used the power function but that's all right and p1 dot y minus p2 dot y we're going to multiply it by itself so that was our distance function let's convert the coordinates into points and store it into array list so we are going to have two array list here both the array list will have all the points uh, but the first array list will be sorted with respect to x-axis and will be used for case 1 and case 2 because in those cases we need to divide the points into half with respect to x-axis right and in second array list uh, the array list will be sorted with respect to y-axis which will be used for third case because in that case we need the points sorted with respect to y-axis okay let's quickly code that uh, so we're gonna define array list over here array list of type point arrx so this will be sorted with respect to x-axis new array list just like that array list point arr y is equal to new array list now we're going to iterate through the points for integer i is equal to 0 i is less than x dot length i plus plus okay uh, we're going to define an instance of point p is equal to new point x of i and y of i so this is going to give the coordinate values we're gonna add the point into act uh, arr of x and arr of y okay now let's do the sorting collections dot sort uh, arr okay we need to import collections over here I haven't done it yet okay perfect arr x now this is the lambda function if you do not understand this uh, I suggest you watch a video for lambda function but what this is going to do is going to sort the error list with respect to x-axis arr of y a or b a dot y minus b dot y collections okay so that is it okay now let's quickly define a recursive function in which we are going to pass these array lists okay so new function public static double we're gonna name it closest recursive to identify that is it is a recursive function we're gonna pass array list of type point arrx array list type point arr y and a count value with that okay so every recursive function has a base condition right so if count value is less than or equal to 3 we will be using brute force to find the distance uh, we are yet to define that method but return minus 1 let's just say that for now okay so now is the time to divide the array list into half and call the recursive function on each of the halves so what we're gonna do in the beginning is gonna take a midpoint integer mid is equal to count divide by 2 okay uh, let's take the point in the middle uh, point midpoint is equal to arr dot get and we're gonna give the mid index okay uh, let's quickly define two new array list which will have the values of the left and values of the right side array list of type point new arr uh, x1 is equal to new array list similarly new arr x2 now quickly give the values like for that we're gonna have a for loop i is equal to zero it's going to go till the middle point and i plus plus 
new dot add we're gonna give the value arr of x dot get and give the index similarly for the second array list the range is going to be different this time and arr x dot size okay uh we'll have two here so uh we have successfully given the following values now we are going to call the recursive functions for that uh, this will be the output of the recursive functions distance from left which will be the minimum distance closest recursive we are going to pass the new arr x1 for the left side uh, the second parameter is going to be the same arr of y and midpoint because uh, this part will have only zero to mid values just like that distance right which will be arr a new arr x2 uh, y, uh, second parameter is going to be the same and it will have count minus mid values okay so the minimum distance will be one of these two above values right distance is equal to math dot min distance left and distance right okay uh, now is the time the, to define the array list for the points that needs to be considered for the case 3 so array list point arr case 3 is equal to new array list so the points that lie within the distance d from the midpoint needs to be in this array list right so uh, let's add all those points for integer i is equal to 0 we are going to iterate through all the points uh, i is less than count and i plus plus okay uh, so if math dot abs we are going to check distance over here arr y here we will be using the arr y dot get i if the distance minus midpoint dot x if it's less than minimum distance we need to add the point arr case 3 dot add arr y dot get that specific index so now that we have added all these points we will be defining a function to calculate the minimum distance from this arr case 3 array list as we have already taken all the points from arr y we do not need to worry about sorting as arr y is already sorted okay uh, now the function public static double calculate case 3 okay uh, in that we are going to pass the array list of point arr we are going to give the size of the array list integer size and the minimum distance value that we calculated from case 1 and case 2 uh, double min distance okay uh, so double min value is equal to min distance that's all right we are going to traverse through the error list integer i is equal to 0 i is less than size i plus plus okay just like that we are going to have a loop for j pointer as well it's going to start from i plus 1 and it's going to go till math dot minimum of size or i plus 1 plus 7 the next 7 points right okay j plus plus the minimum value that we define will be math dot minimum of the current minimum value and the distance between the two points right so uh, arr dot get i and arr dot get j so that will give us the minimum value in the end we just need to return the minimum value okay uh, we are yet to define the brute force right so let's do quickly do that public static double we are going to name this method brute force and we are going to pass an array list of point arr x and a count variable the number of elements number of points in that array list we are going to define a result value which will be integer dot max value in the beginning 
let's traverse through the error list these are i is equal to zero i is less than count i plus plus so this is for the first point now for the second point i uh, integer j is equal to zero j oh we need to start j from i plus one j less than count and j plus plus okay so the result value will be math dot minimum of the current result value and uh, distance of the first and second point so arr of x dot get i comma arr of x dot get j um, in the end we just need to return the result value okay let's quickly update it over here brute force arr of x and the size right so arr x dot size okay so the only thing that is left to do now is to return from our recursive function let's quickly do that uh, we are going to return math dot minimum the minimum value that we found from case one and two minimum distance or the value that we get from calculating the case three calculate case three arr case three uh, arr case three dot size and the uh, minimum distance value that was the parameters okay we will be calling this uh, closest recursive function from this closest distance uh, function so uh, closest recursive arr of x arr of y and the count right so arr dot x dot size let's quickly call this function from our main function uh, okay uh, we're going to s out uh, fine closest distance we're going to pass x value y value and the length right so x dot length and let's quickly try to run it and see the output okay that is in fact the correct value the correct closest distance of these points let's try another example let's try this example okay so that is in fact the correct value uh, i guess this concludes the video uh, if you have any doubts please feel free to comment uh, thank you everyone for watching please like uh, share and subscribe